Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another new video and in this video I'm going to share an interesting fact or interesting point that how can you share the resources? How can you share your knowledge with others? Already uh, you already know 10 different modes. You can create a blog, you can create a video, you can create a GitHub repository and all. But what if you wanted to create a, your own uh, developer book or your own set of work which you have done into multiple pages? in particular format like something like this when you have a knowledge and you wanted to share it then obviously you wanted to write it somewhere either a, a, some kind of a readme or some kind of a book then i think i will say that git book which i'm using since last one year is really nice it has an integration with the github and what can you do with this with this so you can see this this particular segment right let's say i have a product and i wanted to create a readme or a user guide for the product then you can create these wiki pages using uh, these git books so let's say i created a saas product and this is a b2b and i wanted to share some wiki links or a user guide then either you can create a uh, using these uh, application notion some kind of a documentation or you can create a git book and you can also host the content you on the website so the same thing i'm doing here so let's say I earlier, uh, like few years back, I had an idea, okay, I wanted to write a DevOps GitHub Git book. And there is a lot of content on this. And then it's, it's very easy to set up. You just log in and then you start creating the documentation. And this documentation can be a, a, your ebook you are writing, your user guide, your wiki links, your uh, any kind of content which you wanted to share into multiple pages. Here recently I created this page for uh, my YouTube uh, audience that what is my mission. So it is providing these templates. What is my mission? What is my focus? A little bit about me, who I am and then what I'm doing here, right? So what kind of content uh, we are doing? So here what all you can learn from my channel. All these information I wanted to share like my whole plan, like what I'm currently doing, what I will be putting. This is the web developer bootcamp we are doing. This is the microservices playlist. Uh, how you can become a ninja developer. These are like some of the webinars which I'm putting every week. And then some of the full stack clone application. Right. So I'm putting the whole pipeline, what I'm doing, what I will be doing. Everything is documented here. And so the git book, because it's not a promotional content, but I really love because it's free. You can just get started for free. You just log in and then you can start creating the pages. Let's say I'm creating a doc. I can create a new space and this new space is okay. Uh, this is uh, talking more about my organization, right? So I can just put a name. Here I wanted to just talk a little bit about uh, my organization, my colleagues and all. Uh, its name is my company and then you can create a page so here you can uh, create a template also use a template because there are very smart templates that's what i was talking about you can share the api development spec or daily planning design system internal wiki docs let's say if i'm using this template so what we are doing in this i will be using this template and you just need to pre-fill the data right so here my organization and once this is done because this is integrated to the GitHub. What I will do is I will change the request. Okay, I mean, uh, because what we are doing is here I have already configured it. So, how for first of all, how we can share it? There are many ways of doing it. Inherited administrator. This is sharing, and I will also try to publish this. So here we can do it something like this, edit in a change request. So whatever the change you are going to make, let me create a change request. I will just edit it this. Edit means uh, it is the initial version. Cannot support if the problem persists. I really don't like this.
so how can i do the changes i need to open this in the edit mode so i can see this in the edit mode so now it is allowing me to edit my vision i will just say learning and exploring so this is my change request i will merge it so this is how you will just these are like docs and you will keep editing them and you will just create a change request and you will merge them nothing it's not a github whatever you are changing you need to persist them also and then uh, you can publish it also i will i'm just checking the settings integrations and then this there is a way in okay publish to web this is the option i was checking i can publish it to the web so either you have your own domain this is the internal domain of gitbook right gitbook.io but if you have your own custom domain then also you can configure that i have done here like uh, you can add your custom domain if you already bought a domain from godaddy that i have done here like share and if you just check share to the web here i have connected this domain youtube.tksharma.com so when i open this thing what it will give me it will give me this whole page which i which is you which you can see here so this is something which i can share to my audience okay this is my vision this is what i'm doing on the youtube this is the content so this content is not necessarily youtube content you can have any kind of content which you wanted to share with your audience so this is how you can use uh, the gitbook these are really powerful and can be helpful for you to share the content share the api spec share the user guide share the wiki share the any kind of readme content to your group and it, this is i think this is the best way of uh, doing the documentation also because it has a nice integration with i think everything you can uh, edit this uh, if i go in the edit mode i can play with the any embedded url video audio uh, readme content you can copy and paste so if here you can see what all content i can add let me try to do here you can see when i click it supports everything you can add embedded content some loops and here you can see even the github files so the integration of this google doc google sheets google slides trello dribble code pen and lots of real really nice integration so you don't need to look for any outside tool when you are doing integration okay you can embed it the pdf you can embed it the google docs and you can write your own markdown content so i'm using it heavily for my internal purpose and that's why i'm using that's why i created this video that you can use it to document anything you can create your own tiny gitbook your daily schedule or anything which you want to even you can which you can even publish to a particular domain if you have some domain 